Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Skilligotos. Let's continue with the question and answer. The question number 31. A 65 year old patient is admitted with ischemic stroke. Which of the following would be initially assessed by the nurse to determine the patient's level of consciousness? Option first, visual fields. Second, deep tendon reflex. Third, auditory acuity. And last one, verbal response. The correct answer is verbal response because to assess the level of consciousness, we normally use GCS Glasgow Coma Score. In Glasgow Coma Score, verbal, motor, and eye response we normally check. While preparing for the kidney biopsy, the nurse should position the patients. Option first, prone with sandbag under the abdomen. Second, lateral opposite to the biopsy site. Third, supine in bed. With knee flexions and last one lateral flex knee chest. The correct answer is prone with sandbag under the abdomen. Next questions to promote accuracy of self monitoring blood glucose by patients, the nurse should option first retain patients periodically, second direct patient to rotate testing sites. Third, advise patient to buy new strip routinely. Last one, compare result from patient's meter against the lab result. The correct answer is retain the patient periodically. The next question, after administration of penicillin, a patient develops respiratory distress and severe bronchospasm. The nurse should option first, contact the physicians. Second one, apply the eye spec to the axilla. Third one, assess the patient of the orthostatic hypotension. And last option, encourage the patient to take slow dip. The correct answer is contact the physicians. The next question, the administration of which of the following types of parenteral fluids would result in the lowering the osmotic pressure? and cause the fluid to move into the cell. Option first, hypotonic solutions. Second, isotonic solutions. Third, hypertonic solutions. And last one, colloid solutions. The correct answer is hypotonic solutions. The next question, a newborn infant is assessed using the Apgar assessment tools and is scored 6. The infant has a heart rate of 95, slow and irregular respiratory efforts and some flexions of extremities. The infant is pink but has a weak cry. The nurse should know that is Apgar score along with the additional symptoms indicate the neonate is the option first functioning normally, second needing immediately life sustaining measures. Third, need special assistance and last one needed to be warm. The correct answer is needing special assistance. The next question, nursing management of the patient with external otitis includes. In this question, nursing, what is the nursing management if patient have external otitis? Option first, irrigating the ear canal with warm saline several hours after the installing lubricating ear drops. Option second, inserting a ear wigs into the external canals before installing the ear drops disperse the medications. Third option, teaching the patient how to install antibiotic drops into the ear canal before swimming. And last one, installing ear drops without the dropper touching the auricles and positioning the ear upwards for 2 minutes afterwards. The correct answer is D. Installing the ear drops without the dropper touching auricles and positioning the ear upward for 2 minutes afterwards. The next question. The best example of documentation of the patient teaching regarding wound care is the option first. A patient was instructed about the care of wounds and dressing change. Second, 
patient demonstrated correct technique of the wound care following the instructions third the patient and family verbalize that they understand the purpose of the wound care and last one written instructions regarding the wound care and dressing change were given to the patients the correct answer is b the patient demonstrated correct technique of wound care following the instructions the next question the patient is ordered 75 mg of pethidine which come in a ampoule of 100 mg per 2 ml what would the nurse do if the remaining pethidine after drawing up the required dose the option first lock up the remaining dose in the medication cupboard to use later a second option ask the fellow staff to witness the disposal of the remaining drugs third option use the remaining dose within 2 hours for another patient and last one pour the remaining dose down the nearest sink the correct answer is b ask the fellow staff nurse to witness the disposal of the remaining drugs the next question a nurse can ensure she maintaining her competency to the practice through option plus begin involved in continuing education program second making sure that what was learned at nursing school is strictly followed third closely carrying out instructions given by the charge nurse and last one working on the same ward for at least 2 year the correct answer is a she should beginning involved in continuing education program the next question a patient with liver cirrhosis receive 100 ml of 25% serum albumin intravenously which of the following findings would best indicate that the albumin is having its deserved option first decrease the blood pressure second increase the serum albumin level third increase the urine output and last one improve the breathing pattern the correct answer is increase the urine output next questions the nurse should suspect that a patient has the bleeding in upper gi tracts when the color of patient stool is yellow color black color clay color and red color the correct answer is black color next question a registered nurse delegates care to the practical nurse the person most responsible for the safe performance of the care is the option first head nurse who is in charge of the units second the practical nurse assigned to provide the care third the registered nurse who delegate the care to the practical nurse and last one nursing care coordinator who is supervisor of the unit the correct answer is c the registered nurse who delegate the care to the practical nurse the next question a deficiency of which of the following vitamins can affect the absorption of the calcium option first vitamin c second vitamin b6 third vitamin d and last one vitamin b12 the correct answer is vitamin d the next question A patient with central venous line develops clinical manifestations that include the decrease the blood pressure, elevated the heart rate, cyanosis, tachypnea, and changes in the mental status. Which of the following is most likely cause the symptoms? The option first, an air embolism; second, circulatory overload; third, venous thrombosis; and last one, developing the bacteremia. The correct answer is an air embolism. The next question: When taking routine post-operative observations on the patients who underwent a exploratory laparotomy, the nurse plan to monitor which of the important findings over the next hours. A option first: serosanguineous drainage on the surgical dressing. Second: blood pressure of the 105 by 65 mm of Hg. third the urine output of 20 ml in the last hours and last option temperature of the 36 degree centigrade 
the correct answer is C. We have to monitor the urine outputs for the better perfusions. The next question. When the nurse is caring for the patient's place droplet precautions, the nurse should the option first have the patient wear a HEPA mask, high efficiency particular air mask. Second, wear a surgical mask when standing within the two feet or one meter of the patient's. Third one, assign the patient to the room with the monitor negative air pressures. And last one, apply the disposable gown where entering the patient's room. The correct answer is B. Wear a surgical mask when standing within the 3 feet of the patients or 1 meter of the patients. Next question. A patient who has just had a miscarriage at 8 weeks of the gestational is admitted to the hospital. In caring of the patients, the nurse should be alert for the sign of Option 1. Dehydration. 2. Subinvolution. 3. Hemorrhage. And last one is Hypertension. The correct answer is C. Hemorrhage. Next question. The collection of the urine bag should be emptied as necessary and at least every 8 to 9 hours to prevent. Option first. Pulling of the urine into the tube. Second. Reflux of the urine into the bladder. Third. Pulling on the catheter. And last one is bacterial contaminations. The correct answer is D, the bacterial contaminations. Next question, which of the following statement accurately describe the occurrence of the dyspnea in the patient who are receiving end of the life care? Option first, dyspnea is only experienced by the patients who have primary diagnosis that involve the lungs. Second, dyspnea occur in the less than 50% of patients who are receiving end of life care. Third, dyspnea that is caused by increased fluid volume may be improved by diuretics. And last one, dyspnea may be caused by antibiotics therapy used over the long period of the time. The correct answer is C. Dyspnea is caused by increased fluid volume may be improved by the diuretics. If you have any doubts about the questions and answer, you can comment. The next question, a patient has a nursing diagnosis of altered cerebral tissue perfusion related to the cerebral edema. An appropriate nursing intervention for this problem is to Option first, elevate the head of the bed 30 degree. Second one, provide the position of the compound with the knee flexions. Third, provide uninterrupted period of the rest. And last one, ensure adequate hydration with mannitol. The correct answer is A. Elevate the head of the bed 30 degrees because of its decrease the ICP. The next question, while assessing a patient, the nurse learned that he has a history of allergic rhinitis, asthma and multiple food allergies. The nurse must, option first, be alert to hypersensitivity, response to the prescribed medications. Second, encourage the patient to carry a epinephrine kit. In the case of the allergic reactions, third, advise the patient to use aspirin in case of febrile illness. And last one, admit the patient to the single room with limited exposure to the healthcare personnel. The correct answer is A. Be alert to hypersensitivity response to prescribed medications. Next question The nurse should administer nasogastric tubes, feeding slowly to reduce the hazard of. Option first, distension. Second, abdominal cramps. Third, diarrhea. And last one, regurgitation. The correct answer is A. To reduce the hazard of distension. The next question. A person arrived to the post anesthesia care units complaining of the pain after undergoing the, the right total hip Arthroplasty. Which of the following should the nurse do to assess the patient's level of pain? Option first, determine the patient's position during the surgery and how long the patient was in this position. Second one, inspect the dressing, knot type and amount of the drainage and 
In short, bandage adhesive is not pulling on the skin. Third, ask the anesthesiologist what type of the anesthesia patient received and last dose of pain medications. And last one, note locations, intensity and durations of the pain and last dose and time of the pain medications. The correct answer is D. Note the locations, intensity, duration of the pain and last dose and the time of the pain medications. Next question. When caring for the patient with impaired mobility that occur as the result of a stroke, the right side arm and leg weakness, the nurse would suggest that the patient use which of the following assistive device that would provide the best stability for ambulations. The option first, clusters, second, single strand leg cane, third, quad cane, and last one, walker. The correct answer is C. The next question. The nurse teaches a patient recovering from the total hip replacement. That is important to avoid. Option first, putting a pillow between the legs while sleeping. Second, sitting with the leg crossed. Third, abduction exercise of affected legs. And last one, wearing a weight exercise on the affected leg for the six weeks. The correct answer is B. Those who undergone total hip replacement surgery, they should avoid the sitting with the leg crows. The next question, a patient with duodenal peptic ulcer would describe his pain as Option first, generalized burning sensation. Second, intermediate colicky pain. And third, gnawing sensations relieving by food. And last one is colicky pain intensified by food. The correct answer is C. The next question, nurse is prepared a narcotic analgesic for the administration but patient refused to take it. The option first is encourage the patient to reconsider the taking of the medications. Second, label the medications and replace it for use at the later time. Third, discard the medication in the presence of witness and charge the actions. And last one, call the physician with the patient refusal to take the prescribed medications. The correct answer is C. Discard the medication in the presence of witness and chart the actions. The next question, a patient who sustained a chest injury has a chest tube inserted which is connected to the underwater seal drainage system. When caring for the patient, the nurse will Option first, instruct the patient to limit the movement of the affected shoulder. Second, observe for fluctuation of the water seal. Third, clamp the tube when needed. And last one, administer hourly analgesia. The correct answer is B, observe for fluctuation of the water level. If you have any doubt and suggestion about the questions and answer, you can comment. And thank you for watching.